Hi everyone, my name is Julie Stigmeyer and I work with the Graduate School of Education and Psychology at Pepperdine University. Today I'm going to share with you how to cite class material in APA format. I frequently get this question from students. How do I cite my professor's slideshows or videos in the asynchronous material? So I thought I would show you some sample citations and references so that you can figure out how to set yours up. <clears throat> you have to know three things before you get started. First, what type of content is it? Is it a, a slideshow or a video? I've got options for both of these. And then see if you can figure out who the author is. If it's your professor's lecture slides, you may just be able to put your professor's name as the author. Um, so that's one thing. You have to figure out what the content is. Second, who the author is, if you can figure it out. Sec and then the third thing is try to identify the title of the presentation. Go to the very first slide or the first part of the video to try to figure that out. So then once you have those three pieces of information, you can follow one of these samples to guide your, your preparation. So if you can find an author, you would list the last name of the author, a comma, and then the first initial, just like normal APA format. The year you access the resource, the title of the presentation, where you would capitalize only the first word of the title and the first word of the subtitle and any proper nouns. And then what you would add here is in brackets, what type of content it is. Is it a PowerPoint slide presentation or is it a video? And that's a sample here is for a slideshow. Then um, you would name your online course platform. So it might be courses at Pepperdine or 2PEP at Pepperdine. And then because you can't give an exact link to the reader who does not have login privileges, you would just add your link to your URL login. For a parenthetical in-text citation, you would add the author in the year as usual. And here's what a narrative citation would look like. If there is no author stated, you can identify the organization. So in this case, Pepperdine University, Graduate School of Education and Psychology, everything else would be the same. For the parenthetical citation, you can indicate that it's Pepperdine and the narrative. For videos, it's very similar. The only change here is that for the type of content, you would use video in your bracketed information. Everything else would be the same with or without, without an author. So that's all. I hope that will help you as you're preparing those sources. If you need more information or would like to receive feedback on your writing, please get in touch with GSEP Writing Support. Until next time, happy writing.